Hello, Andrew here again. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be inking and coloring Anubis, the ancient miss god about the judgment and all of things like that. They will be inking the character and moving it to Photoshop to be coloring it. I'm inking it now on Manga Studio. As you can see, I've already started it for the recording, so I don't have footage right now about the head and the right arm. So, tips I can give here that I always start with the head. I always start with the head in the pencils and the inks. Because I want to give the fine to the characters I will be doing. I want to know. What will be doing next for the character? What will be doing next in the emotions? And if there is any other corrections I might add to make it better, refine it for the final look. Now I am moving to the left arm, adding a couple details for the inking. Manga Studio is far more better than the, the Photoshop. I like it with the details, with the uh, tools, with the brushes. I downloaded a couple of brushes from it. Gives a professional look to my artwork. feel like I'm using uh, a manual freehand pen inking pen. I like that. Sometimes I don't follow the pencils. If they are, I feel if they are kind of out of proportion or out of shape or could be better if I, I added a line there or erased a line from this. An inker doesn't follow the, the pencil doesn't have to follow the pencils. He might have a theory, a better theory. <laughs> he might know more anatomy. He must know anatomy like the artist. Or the colors too must have must know a lot of anatomy. So he can define the shape by adding thick lines and thin lines. You can define any shape like this. Always try to look at Kim Jong Ji and Jim Lee artworks to know what I'm talking about right now. Sometimes they draw lines with pencil with pencils, and while they are inking it, they may draw a far away line on the pencils, or doesn't have to follow the pencil they already have drawn. Drawing the abdominal muscles. So what we can start now. We've got a couple of questions answered before about brushes. People keep answering them to me. What brushes are you using? For the for the Manga Studio, I downloaded a couple of brushes. You can find them free on the. Sorry, I'm losing Clip Paint. Clip Paint is the, the advanced version of Manga Studio. And for the Photoshop, I posted the links for. As I said, the art is defined. The, uh, the tools. The tools doesn't define the artist. It's the, always the artist versus the tools. Of course, uh, the tools help you to make a better art, but an artist know how to use anything to his advantage. Trying hard to 
make it a very unique design for Nubius. <laughs> Guys keep telling me this look like a character from League of Legends. <laughs> but I didn't even know there is a character in League of Legends that took Anubis as a reference. It's weird. <laughs> it's even weird if Egyptians that should know their mystical characters or mythology <laughs> are even telling me this. Now we are moving to the colors, as you see I've added the flats, and now I am deleting from the shadow layer, the multiply layer. As I said, you should have, you should know more anatomy. If you are an artist, if you are, if you are an artist, you should already know that. If you are an anchor, colorist, you should know. Because it always helps with the depths of shapes, trapezius, the toys, triceps, the biceps. You should know all that. I am coloring now on Photoshop. Here's a couple of tips I want to add when you try to color something. First of all, you must imagine the color wheel before you start coloring it in your head while doing the art for it. Or uh, even if you like the picture for an another artist and want to decide to color it, you should have a uh, theory and Im an imagination how each part of this image, of this portrait, of this comic book, of this character should be colored and think what might happen if I add a red here, blue here, dark and red here, something like that. There's also a tip that I don't agree with actually, it's don't use many layers. Damn with that. No, actually I agree on do what's better to make your art look better. This might help if you are working for a major company of, or if you are dictated to a deadline. You don't have to do many layers, but my theory, don't limit yourself to many layers or, or, or not too many layers, few layers, I just make it flow your mind. As you can see I'm using many layers and after I finish it I might add or delete from them because Da Vinci once said art is never finished, it's only abandoned. Mm. So I'm not agreeing with this too much but it's very relevant don't have to stick to a tip like that. Just focus on making a better art. And considering how much detail you want. The sample here I'm using a dark dark color because he is Jekyll. Jekyll dogs got darker. So I saw the Nubis is a black character, like Black Panther or something like that. So I want him to make him look like a black, black male. And uh, with gold and some whites. Close Egyptians, ancient Egyptians, they knew how to dye their clothes. But they stick to, always stick to the whites. They love the whites. So there must be a white in my my design. So I'm using the golds here. Took some reference from another, another works art like um, anime, Dragon Ball, um, Conan, One Piece, Bleach. Yeah. Got some reference from coloring gold like this. And the next tip is build mood. Remember to build mood with your color choices. 
If you want an image like look like sad, sad, sad feeling, give a sad feeling about it, you must use red, brown to give some hurt, some bad feeling about those. Those give doesn't give rage only, they give something uncomfortable feelings about sorrow, sadness. Mm. Colors are always relevant about your feeling. You might feel something with colors that others don't feel. So try to get a feeling about what is better to know what's better to do about the colors. Might change it if you want a, an image to look like cold, cold feeling, you might delay might uh, sorry might uh, use uh, bluish tones and uh, purple tones so remember to build your mood with color choices yeah it helps a lot so uh, um, uh, I just say the using black black brownish tones to give Anubis an African look Egyptian mystical creature and using gold, because Egyptian indeed like gold. Another thing, another very important tip you might know is to give, so limit your color palette. Remember to limit your color palette. When you're watching an anime or cartoon, just watch the flow of the colors. You might understand what I'm telling now. A character might have from three to four color tones, major color tones. They might not change from the jacket leather they're wearing and the pants and uh, the shoe or the boots they're wearing. They just change very no, not so much. They don't change so much between those those values, because it helps a lot with your imagination of the scene, with uh, the the flats, with uh, if you are doing a cell shade, if you are doing a cut, if you are doing a, a digital painting, you must try to limit your digital part. There, was, there is a coloring. Reflection theory, yeah, it's fine. Uh, I, I agree with it, but there's times when you try to stick with the measure, with the major colors when you're doing digital painting. Might choose very small areas to color it with uh, or reflect the other, other tones on it, but you don't have to stick with it, just give yourself a feeling. Uh, people who draw uh, life drawings know what I'm talking about right now because there is no orange or no blue, just solid blue or solid orange. Uh, blue might include green or red or purple or uh, yellow sided. Same thing with the, or with the orange and other coloring tones. So it my, must have an full understanding about the coloring reflection theory. I will uh, study this with another video with you guys. Another tip give depth through color and contrast. Best example for cell shade. I chose cell shade because I, uh, I love anime, I love cartoons, so I had to stick with the contrast with a single color and it's negative, it's a darker tone, it's lighter tone, it's more reflection tone, so uh, I like this. So, an, an artist that loves to color with uh, cuts, mm, yeah, they got a contrast too, of course. Uh, remember, if you are too worried, if you are don't 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 know how uh, 
to store coloring or can draw which coloring contrast with contrast is better for your for your image always try to look at the transformers design and color wheel sometimes it helps me a lot looking at the transformers from a book I bought from years back G1 encyclopedia I bought it before it helped me a lot with the coloring tones and understanding its values you know that green go with the purple better in the orange with the brown and other things like that i liked it a lot it helped me to understand the colors around me in reality i like that lead. and here's the last step the first one actually i say it but i'm saying it again to use your heads for coloring yeah as I said when I chose to color movies I imagine a couple of things so as you can see you've got tons of layers on the right side it's again it's a tip I say here but uh, you don't care about uh, limit your color oh, sorry uh, don't use many layers tip I only care about making a better art, making it look fine. So I'm making a contrast now, if you can see it in the background. I uh, always go with a better rhythm. I got nothing actually in my head when I'm making background or something. I always look what's better for the character to make it look poppy and pop up when you are looking at it and if I'm going to print it on a poster or make it a cover or something like that so I might I, I'm, I have to consider everything about the character and the background things the reflections and if I'm going to add more effects to make it look like the souls I am be doing now I should have added heads screaming ow, ow, ow. I didn't do that I should have done that but I didn't do that I'm just making a, like a green clouds of greed and the will of human souls I don't like adding other textures to make it look like an ancient and old old image. I don't stick to any rules while I'm coloring, so I might add it, might delete it. I'm not so sticky about this. For more info and more coloring tips, if you got more, any questions, you should you can ask them here on the comment section, or send me on DeviantArt or uh, Facebook. I always try to uh, be cooperative about those, and always try to teach. Things I know because uh, I love trying to help people, I enjoy doing it actually. So, um, I am adding this effects, but I'm actually I, I recorded this video and I'm making a voice over it, so uh, I'll be deleting those effects on the right hand because I didn't like them in the end be moving far from it maybe in a second right now I'm all waiting sometimes you would like to make Photoshop make things easier so you you might should understand 
very well the Photoshop can help you with making effects, with making things 3D. I learned these things from a uh, couple of courses from uh, Gnomon. It helped me a lot. I don't remember to call the artists or the, the lessons I learned just from, but uh, who cares? I just say that right now. And I'm actually doing it in front of you guys. Adding some reflections, gold. Trying very well, see Anubis here. Hey, I'm rich. I'm rich, Anubis. Look at my golden staff! I'm very rich! <laughs> so, hope you guys like my video. I'm looking forward to make more videos.